guys, this is Bill. <laughs> Coming at you with another quality gun review of the Ares Amoeba 009. Forgive me, I'm not myself today. Hey, airsofters across the world, this is Bill and Zach. We're gonna talk to you today about the Ares Amoeba series. This is the AM013. It's the Honey Badger. That's not a Honey Badger. These guns come in black and tan. The tan version, as you can see, comes with a black tan mix, which is really nice. So whereas traditionally, only your PEQ style lipos would fit, we recently tried your 7.4 brick, the 1600 milliampere variant, and they fit in there just fine. Because it does fit, but it is still somewhat tight, so you need to be careful about how you wrap your wires. And 1600 milliamps will generally get you the majority of the day, would you agree? If you're playing airsoft. The thing we like about this is you push the button, boom, the little spring kind of pops it out, kind of nice, makes it easy. These sights are flip up and flip down. You don't have to push a button to move them. They do lock into place, so they're going to be pretty stable. This gun also has the forward grip, which I don't think is on any other gun that we've ever had. Not stock, not normal. Not, not stock. There are a lot of guys that like to operate like that. I don't, you know, I run in tight. I understand that. Everybody's got their own differences, but I'm right, you're wrong. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got the radial style hop up, so you just dial it down if you want to increase the hop up. This doesn't feel weak like some other guns on occasion that you'll come across, like some of the uh, lower end guns. You got metal front rails. Uh, it does come with a rail section here and I think comes with another one put with two two and so you can put one on either side and uh, the nice thing is that it's fully adjustable you can put them here you can put them here anywhere you want here awesome custom magpul style even though it's not magpul it's Aries grip it's got excellent texture to it it's got this huge button for releasing your mag uh, that that makes it I mean you got gloves on the bigger the better it's, it's you know, not always operating with gloves it does come with an integrated suppressor I don't know if you can see that too awful well there but the suppressor is integrated with the barrel and it's glued together. So taking that apart would probably prove to be extremely difficult and, and probably not a wise idea. Uh, but the fact that it has its own suppressor, but it's nice and full, it's, it's just it's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful setup. This does come with a fully programmable gearbox. And you can adjust this gearbox to be semi, safe semi-semi, safe full full, safe three round bird, any combination of those that you want. And that's pretty nice. Plus it has a quick change spring feature. That's not a quick adjustable spring, but it's a quick change spring. And according to John with Z-Shot, you can put up to a 150 spring in this gearbox. Now, it will void your warranty, yes, but you can do it. Whenever you do a high stress <clears throat> build, I highly recommend putting a reinforced uh, fire control unit in it, or it'll get the zapparoo. Of course, this does have, the, like we said, the MOSFET built in, which is a really good feature. Now, it's something that's import important to note. Down in here, there, the fire controller is blue. If you have a blue fire controller, then you have the most up-to-date fire controller. Very important because blue fire controller is it's bugless as far as we know. My son's been using his since last October and had zero trouble. And of course, any gun that we have is gonna have the blue control. Zach's gonna kind of show you what the gearbox, what an Aries gearbox looks like and how the quick change spring feature kind of works. Now, this does not have the fire control unit in it. Normally it'd be about right here. Now, the quick change spring in it, you have to get this far in the gun, but as, as, in terms of just changing your spring, push it, twist it, bam. This gun shoots about 380 feet per second stock. So if you wisely wanted to use this in CQB, put M90 and 100 spring in there, you'll be great. If you want it upgraded more towards a field type gun, no problem. You get your M120, 130, 150, M290 spring. You say 290? Yes. <laughs> be quiet. Don't put a 290 spring in. Don't do that. So why the Honey Badger? because it is not just another M4. I recommend everyone have an M4 just because you have the most amount of parts, the most amount of upgrades, magazines, batteries, rail system. You can customize them down to the nitty gritty. But the problem with that is everyone has an M4 and so you are, you are special just like everyone else. Except when you have a honey badger. You can have reliability and the compatibility of an M4 whilst at the same time not being one of us. It comes with a 6.03 Type 4. So you're gonna have a little better grouping. Actually, it's gonna be a noticeable better grouping at range than most other people who have a gun in the same price point. All of the Amoeba guns come with a three year warranty. So that means that bill will be close to 67 by the time, just kidding. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> but I will be 50. <laughs> Star Wars 7 will be out by the time the war can take place. Anyway, okay, rabbit trail. <laughs> those of you who play Milsim, or those of you who just play on a Milsim play style, you run semi-automatic a lot. 
and on most AEGs that burns the ever living heck out of your trigger contacts and you quickly have to replace that and repair and upgrade and you can go semi-automatic for days the honey badger not honey badger they don't care that it comes with the custom Ares Amoeba magazine it has the mag pole already on it it is a beautiful thing these mags are awesome so check out the Ares Amoeba 013 on our website it's the honey badger that's not a honey badger Thank you for joining us in another great adventure of the Aries and Eva coverage. This is Bill, Zach, and Clark, and we're out of here, baby. Have a nice day. Hey, I'm Sasha Crosswell. This is Bill and Zach Candy. We're coming to you with the Amoeba mag. Dang. For real, this time. We can't say honey badger, but we did. And this has been Bill, Clark, and Zach. <laughs> Black Black. Zach. Alan! 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 Steve! No, Steve! Steve! Alan! We can't find Alan! There we go. Greetings, comrades! Are you liking what you're seeing? Do you need more Zach the Goff in your life? You need to hit the like and subscribe button wherever they are, wherever you are in the world. You need more. Ivan, do you need more Ivan in your life? You need to hit like and subscribe. Ivan is very lonely. He gets very um of capital sometimes and he cries. But we can't have that because we need more likes and subscriptions, comrade. You need more Fazzy. Always need more Fazzy in your life, comrade. Between choosing having Fazzy and Zach the Duff and Ivan in your life and not having, Always go with the short things, comrades. <laughs> awesome.